Okay, so I'm getting ready to start a large canvas stretcher frame production in my wood shop. And I've got to move this stuff out of here and make some space. I'm going to make 250 of these canvas stretcher frames, 36 by 42s. And I did a video before showing the assembly process of this product. And I did a timed run to see how that all worked in production. But in this video, I'm going to show the processing part of the production. So I'm going to cut up all these sheets of plywood. So this is my cut list for making 250 frames. There are four different types of parts. So there's a layout for each part. And I like to do cut lists this way. It's a better way to organize large quantities and it gives me a visual reference of all the sheets and all the cuts I'm going to make on each sheet. So that helps me organize things better in my brain. I've got my 5 horsepower Grizzly table saw which breezes through this type of production. And I have a combination blade on it right now that I'll make the initial cross cuts and then I'll put this fast cutting rip blade on it. And I like using these blades because they're kind of disposable. They're not as expensive and they have a, a thin kerf. Not the best finish but it's good, good fast cutting blade. Joe likes it. So here's my power feeder that I have set up on my router table right now. And this contraption here is used to make the eased edges on the outer strips. So I'm going to transplant this power feeder onto my table saw for making the repetitive cuts and the strips. And I have a helper coming over to give me a hand with this part of the process. Alright, so this is the plywood I got. Just gotta do a quick count. Yeah, I got plenty. Joe, are you ready to get some stretchers done?
was a workout. Um, I didn't hurt anything, so that's always good. So this is 31 sheets of plywood. This took about two hours to cut up with me and my helper, and about an hour to clean up the shop and get everything ready. So we're three hours into it, and this is the hard part, just <laughs> moving all those sheets around and making these big cuts. But now that I have these into manageable sizes, the lifting part of the job is a lot more minimum on mem mem bleh.